Hey guys, happy Wednesday, and Heidi Easley here, Texas Art and Soul, and owner and founder of Paint Party Headquarters. And I am doing part three of the Lauren Daigle, You Say I'm Loved. Um, I'm actually, I'm working on the background. I'm gonna change it up a little bit. I had done the stencil um, a few days ago. I want y'all to be able to see this, so I'm looking this way. I did this, I did this stencil a couple days ago, but I'm actually gonna paint over this and make it more blue. Hey guys, thank y'all for joining in. Hey Rita. Oh my gosh, y'all say hi and tell me where you're from. I'm gonna be adding to this. I'm changing up my painted prayer for my Lauren Daigle. Sorry, a call was coming through. <laughs> All right, so how many of y'all out there teach paint parties? Let me know. I have a challenge for you. If you teach paint parties, um, I have a link in the description for an exact video. I don't want to get paint all over myself on how to book a paint party fast, okay? So if you want to book a paint party fast, I have a video in the description that tells you exactly how to book a paint party within, you could probably do it within a week. I'm so excited for y'all. Hey, Amanda. Oh my gosh, so um, so yeah, so please, please take the, take the challenge and let me know what you think of it. And I'm just going to be adding some color. So please tell me if you're already teaching paint parties or if you're interested in, or if you have ever done a painted prayer. Okay, let me know if you've ever done a painted prayer. Hey guys, oh my gosh, thank y'all for being here and thank y'all for sharing. Y'all are always so, so kind. And um, the challenge today, and there's also this awesome free book in the challenge as well. So if you want to get it, it's in the description. And you can learn all things paint party related. All right, so I'm going to be adding some color because I just was not feeling what this was looking like. So I'm going over my stencil and just adding a little bit more color to it, okay? And this is gonna be part of my Lauren Daigle, you say, painted prayer. Canada, what's going on in Canada? Is it pretty where you live? I love knowing like where other people live and kind of how they're doing life. And I always, always, I, there was somebody that messaged me the other day and she was in Northern, where was she from? Northern, it wasn't Scotland. Um, oh my gosh, what was it? It was Northern, it's coming to me. <laughs> Wait for it, it's coming to me. Northern something, oh my gosh, it was way, way across the, the world. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. And she's doing paint parties over there. It's gonna come to me, it's gonna drive me nuts until I get it. Um, so anyway, I just want y'all to know, and um, thank y'all so much for watching. Please, please try the challenge. The link is in the description and you'll also get the free ebook. So check it out. And if you don't know what a painted prayer is, a painted prayer is just when you take any kind of wood, canvas, whatever you want. And I teach these at my paint parties. I actually have a couple of paint parties coming up with painted prayers and you can do any size. Um, I've done, let me show y'all this one. Hold, oh, oh man, I took it into my room. Oh, I have this one too. This was one. <laughs> oh, it's just me, Blue. Come here, it's just me. Sorry, it's my dog. He's on alert, high alert. And um, this one is not one of my favorites, but it, I love what it says. I just don't love the background as much, but I'll read it to you so you get a gist of it. Cause this one I'm gonna turn into the Lauren Daigle song you say. But this one says, it was um, a quote by Gabby Bernstein, and I think she got it from A Course of Miracles. And it says, what would you have me do? Where would you have me go? What would you have me say? And to whom? And the reason I love this so, so much is because there's so many times that we're like, we're seriously just thinking it's all about us. You know, it's, it's our aches, our pains, our trouble i mean there's every day we're just we're thinking about ourselves and whenever we can stop and ask like what would you have me do where would you have me go what would you have me say and to whom it just puts way more perspective on life and honestly when i don't know about y'all but like when i am going through something hard you know like we i mean i hate to even bring it up because i'm, I'm kind of like done talking about it 
Um, but I had like major medical stuff and um, all this kind of crazy stuff happened a couple years ago. And it was like, I remember going to the doctor and getting all these crazy tests. Done. They, basically, I ha they thought I had a mini stroke and then they found a hole in my heart and I had to get the surgery to get it fixed. I have actually a device in my heart now. And, um, and I remember one day I asked the doctor because I had to go through all of these crazy tests and all of this stuff. It was in 2016. <gasps> Maura, it's from Northern Ireland. Yes, it was her that emailed me. Yay, Northern Ireland. I knew it was far away. Anyway, I had to go through all these crazy tests and I remember asking the doctor, I said, is it possible, you know, can I still work, you know, can I still do my paint party business tonight? And he was like, yeah, no, it shouldn't be fine. Just don't, you know, lift a lot or whatever. And um, it was the craziest thing because as soon as I went to that paint party, all the thoughts about, oh, poor me, oh, poor me, going through all these tests. I mean, that day I had to get this crazy esophagus test that like went down and saw what was going on in my heart. And it was so crazy. It was like a silence little lamb moment. Really, it was, it was freaky. Let me know if you've ever had any of those weird moments. And I remember just thinking like, this sucks. Like life just sucks so bad. And I was just feeling sorry for myself and all the things you do when you're sick or hurt or, you know, whatever. And then um, I went to my paint party and all of my attention was focused on other people. And because of that, it's like everything from that day, all those things from those several weeks of testing and all of that craziness, it just went away. All that happened was I started thinking about you know, those people, how can I help them at their paint, you know, at their paint party? What can I do to help serve them? And so I think whenever we have, we have this mindset of like, it's all about me and everything is about me. And you know, woe is me, all of this, you know, we need to stop and remember, like, we need to be grateful. There's a lot. Sorry, I keep getting phone calls. <laughs> I keep getting phone calls. People stop calling. Um, there, you know, it's not about us, it's about other people. And it's so true that whenever you just really stop, like, I know it's hard, but just stop the complaining and really focus on how can you help others? How can you be of service to others? And I think that's where, why I'm so, so freaking passionate about paint parties because all of my worries go away and it just all focuses on other people and we get to share God's love through art. And when you do painted prayers, like if you have trouble remembering that, make a painted prayer and put it on your wall or put it somewhere where every morning you can wake up and see that. And that's the first thing that you see. And the reason that's so important is because we have to be, I mean, this is not something like, you know, we think, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to do this and then it's all, you know, going to happen. No, it takes repetition. It takes keeping, you know, the right people in your head. If you're always, you know, around somebody who's complaining, guess what happens? You end up complaining. <laughs> you end up, you know, misery loves company and you just end up jumping on to that bandwagon. And I really wish I could open these jars. I just need, I've, I've been going to the gym. <laughs> I guess it doesn't help with gripping. I've been trying to be consistent at the gym because did anybody gain weight over the holidays? I mean, I only gained five pounds, which normally I gain more during the holidays, but it was still five pounds. I was like, come on. I was actually when I, I cannot get this. I think maybe, I think maybe I need to um, buy a gripper. Melena told oh I got it I got it Melena told me that one time all right so let me have it let me know if y'all have any questions about paint parties or about any of that I am using a metallic from deco art this is a flat metallic and it's just kind of to make it a little bit more shiny I just love that and let me know what colors you think I should put on here let's see um Heidi says you are made oh well thank you and Heidi, I love your name, by the way. Rita says, slam it upside down on the floor or a hard surface. Sometimes it breaks the hard paint up. You know, I've been doing that too. We, um, we went to go get, you know how my art studio flooded a few weeks ago or a few months ago? And we had went to go get, I'm trying to make the, oh, I want some of that light blue. We went to go get um, 
a some new flooring to put in the art studio to match it and I guess they stopped selling the kind that we had we could not find anything to match it so um oh and if y'all are going to do this at home you're all I'm doing is just really having fun with the color I'm just getting a background and I'm about to use a few stencils oh and for those of you that are just joining um, I have a challenge in the link descrip the description on how to book a paint party fast. You may even book it within a week. And then also you'll get my free ebook. So share with a crafty, artsy friend, please. That would be amazing. Um, so yeah, so Rita, I was telling y'all, um, the flooring didn't match. And so we had to, um, we had to use the flooring that we pulled up. And so there's a few little like nooks and every once in a while I'll hit it. And so sometimes I'll try to beat the paint on the floor and it gets a little crazy. Okay, so these are just blues. I'm just trying to be cautious of um, the colors I'm using because I think I'm gonna go with whites and blacks. Here's a stencil. And you can use bubble wrap. You don't have to use a a stencil like this. You can use pretty much anything you want. I'm just trying to get some different shades, different colors, because I really want the Lauren Daigle You Say thing to stand out really well. And I had it on my vinyl cutter, but actually I think I'm going to change it up because I don't like the way it's really written. All right. Where are my part paint party people at? I know we got our Ireland girl. We have a Canadian, we have a Florida. Where else are my paint party people at? Y'all are my favorite people in the world, you know that, right? Paint party people, showing God's love through art all over the world through paint parties. I'm so excited for y'all. I hope y'all like the new series I just released. It's part of this video I shared in the description on how to get paint parties fast. And um, the first video is all about supplies. I go into detail on what supplies I use and how to get supplies for a cheaper price. And then the second video, which is the one I put in the link today, that one is the challenge that literally will, I mean, some of my Paint Party Headquarters members were getting bookings the day of. I actually had um, two of the places call me this week and a party book this morning um, from that method I am using. So it's not something that I did way back when. It's actually being used right now today. So if you are kind of interested in maybe teaching paint parties, take the challenge because so many people are thinking that you have to go out and buy all these supplies and have so much stuff ahead of time. It's not true. And um, what I like to teach is a profit every party. And I like to teach booking your parties first. So you don't go out and spend all this money first. And then you're like, crap, you know, now I got to go into a party and I don't know if I'm going to make any money. Like, I want y'all to make money every single time. Let's see where all of y'all are at. Hello, we got Susie from Texas. Susie's my mom. Hi, mom. <laughs> Thanks for the support, mom. Okay, let's see. Um, Maura says, I'm still making notes about everything, but watch this space. Up until now, I've not charged, but have a lead around a dozen workshops for, for the deaf and hard of hearing folk. I mean, I meant through work. I get embarrassed asking for payment. How do you get past that? Oh my gosh, you will love my third video. The ver third video is all about how to get prepaid customers. And it's all through an event link registration. You basically, you know, share the link and it tells everything you're offering. And... Um, Here's the thing about payment. When I started my very first business, my surfboard painting business, some of y'all know about that. Do, do y'all know about the surfboard painting business? Just tell me yes or no. I don't want to bore y'all. Let me know if y'all know about it. If not, I'll share. Kilgore. Oh, Sharla from Austin. Linda, hi. Hi, Sherry from Round Rock. And Joy from North Carolina. Thank y'all for watching. Do y'all know? Oh, you don't know about the surfboard? Rita knows, she knows all about it. Let's see, Linda, yes. Okay, so some of y'all know, some of y'all don't. Well, I'll share just a little bit of it. And um, so the surfboard painting business, it, it basically, I was painting surfboards. We had, you know, lost everything. Very embarrassed 
embarrassing time in my life. I'm just grabbing another stencil. I'll be right there. too at the paint party and um, painted prayers they'll do the same thing they'll get so excited about all the options and um, yeah the way I had it I did not love it right in the middle so I'm changing it up and um, meant to push the smiley face <laughs> Rita are you giving me are you giving me mean faces on Facebook are you trolling me Rita you're trolling me aren't you um, okay, so the surfboard painting business. Oh, and those of y'all that are just joining, if you want my free ebook and a challenge on how to book paint parties fast, the link is in the description. So please check it out. Share it with the artsy friend. I don't know how long I'm going to be gifting that. So um, if you have somebody that might be artsy and crafts, crafty, share with them as soon as possible because, like I said, I don't know how long I'll have that for free. I sell it on my website for $17. Um, Okay, so surfboard, surfboard painting business. All right, so, you know, we had lost everything, and I ended up, you know, painting these little wooden surfboards to kind of, kind of just, like, you know, I talk about art healing and how much it means to just, you know, build it, like, paint and crank up the music and just, you know, escape the realities of the world, and that's what I love about teaching paint parties is because we're offering that for people. And, um, and so I painted these little mini surfboards. I need to do a whole live where I show y'all the surfboards. I have a couple of them left. And I painted over a thousand, thousand surfboards that in two months. But anyway, they're little wooden surfboards. And the reason I'm talking about this with being scared to charge money is because I ended up doing this little business. I was painting them and I took them up to the school. I was an art teacher at the time. And all the kids loved them. They went psycho over them. And I, it kind of a light bulb went off. And I thought, oh my gosh, I can probably sell these and make some money. And then and what happened was I ended up, you know, because I didn't have any money because we had our, we'd gone bankrupt. And my mother-in-law said, well, I think you can do this. But, you know, let us come in 50-50 so that, you know, we'll split all the profits. And so we can get this started. Well, she kept saying, we need to raise the price. We need to raise the price. And I was terrified. We were selling them. They're about this big, decorative. I hand painted, put people's names on them, all freehand. It was way before a vinyl cutter. And um, and she said, we need to charge more. We were charging $20 a surfboard. And I was like, if we go to places, I'd you know barter. If somebody had jewelry and a little thing, I'd go, hey, I'll trade you a surfboard for that necklace. <laughs> you know, I was just, I was like doing everything I could to not make money. And I really needed the money for my family. I mean, we had, had you know, lost our house and moved into an apartment and I had a little toddler and, you know, it was all this craziness, but, you know, I just didn't value my worth. And we ended up selling over a thousand surfboards in just two months, which meant I made over $20,000 in just two months which also meant this slow painter who usually spent about a year on a painting had to paint a thousand surfboards in just two months. So I would stay up until two or three o'clock in the morning. I mean, anything I could do because I knew every $20 was that much, you know, for my family to help my family out of this situation. But the thing that's crazy when I look back, I wasn't valuing my, my time or my money. I mean, I could have easily, easily sold those for 30. I mean, People were like literally handing $20 without even batting an eye. They were walking next to Starbucks and spending five, six, seven dollars on a coffee. And here I am hand painting for an hour to two hours on their thing. It was insane. So we, you know, now I look back and I'm like, oh my gosh, I could have easily sold those for 30, no problem. And I think when you start to realize your time, your energy, yes, paint parties are a blast and they are so much fun and I, live, eat, and breathe paint parties, I'm also going to be paid well for them because it's a lot of prep work. I'm gonna pull this off, let's see what it did. Did it work? Can y'all see it? Um, it's a lot of prep work. So yes, you know, we want to, you know, show God's love through art. We want to teach paint parties. We want to have, you know, this cool experience, you know, for these people. But if we're staying up till, like I was, two, three o'clock in the morning painting, 
um, you know, meeting them on a day off so that I could deliver the, the paint, you know, because sometimes we'd have like 60 orders in a night. Um, it's not, we have to be able to value ourselves, and people are okay paying it. And you're providing an experience, just like we go to the movie theater. I don't expect to walk into the movie theater for free, do you? And do you expect to, you know, go to a nail salon for free? No, you not only pay them, you tip them. <laughs> so why would you expect somebody to want to come paint with you for free? You know, and I'm only saying this because I have been there and I have been that person. So I can talk to you with a lot of love because I've been that person that's, you know, working on a project for a friend, staying up on all hours of the night when they don't even realize that they've asked that of me. You know, I'm working, you know, full time, working on stuff for free because it's fun. Just because it's fun doesn't mean you shouldn't be paid for it. I think that's where people get confused. Does this make sense to y'all? Does any of this make sense? I think that's where people get confused because, you know, God gives us all talents and we all have something to offer the world. And um, just because it's fun, it comes easy to us because we love it and we create and we, you know, practice it and we paint our walls and we paint our fridges and we paint whatever we can. It comes easy to us because we love it and we practice it. Now, when you start to change it over to a paint party, why should it be any different where you don't get paid for it now. Just like somebody that, you know, owns a movie theater, or whatever, you know, we all the time spend money on events and things like that. So I think it's just getting past that and remembering that you're providing an experience, remembering that you're providing something really cool and fun, and they're actually gonna have something to take home with it. Um, it, just, it just makes all the difference in the world. I never, ever, feel bad about charging for a paint party because I know what they're going to get. I know they're going to love it. Okay, so I'm going to let this dry. This is part three. I think part two or part three of the Lauren Daigle. You say, and um, this thing is going to be finished very soon. I can't tell you for sure when, but I'm going to keep coming live and while I finish it. And then if you have an artsy crafty friend and you want my free book, check the link in the description. It's going to lead you to a challenge where, let me take this off of here. See if it can come up to me a little bit. It's going to lead you to a challenge where you can actually, um, ugh. sorry guys, get a little weird. Um, that's better. Now I can like kind of see, like I'm seeing y'all. It's going to lead you to a challenge where you can actually um, take action right now. So watch that video. I want you to try it and then let me know. Send me a message. Um, and let me know if you got a party booked from using the method I'm giving you. All right, guys, I hope you have a great day and let me know. Hey, Carolyn from Georgia. All right, y'all share this video if you don't mind. And again, the ebook won't be available for very long for free. So check it out. All hey, Amanda, have a great day. Bye, guys.